What is up, guys? If you're new to the Quake Enhanced Edition, or you're an old school Quaker, and the configuration files don't make any sense to you, uh, hopefully I've got your back, at least to some extent. There's definitely limitations to what you can and can't do. It's not as versatile as other source ports, but you can still do some pretty gnarly stuff here. So first and foremost, I've customized the new HUD. Um, I have buttons to cycle through the different HUDs. I have tab set to show your ammo as well as your stats. And it defaults back to whatever the last HUD you had selected was. Um, I have all of the mouse buttons set to the different weapon classes. So middle mouse for grenades, scroll down for shotguns, scroll up for nail guns, back button for lightning gun, forward button for melee. I also have a right click to zoom. You can either do this as a hold or a toggle. Um, you can tweak the configuration however you see fit. Um, I have E set to cycle through different rendering options. So this is no texture, this is full bright, this is standard. And just for shiggles, I've bound my left alt to, to teabag my enemies because they're all garbage. So, um, this also supports the expansions. So if I were to go into Scourge, and I were to cycle through my options. I can easily select the expansion specific weapon. Same with Disillusion. Just pull up the Disillusion option. Scroll up for all the nail guns, and it cycles through the new variants, the multis, and the, the lava rounds, and also the miniature BFG. So yeah, hopefully somebody finds some use out of this. Uh, Took some research trying to figure this out because there's like no documentation anywhere on it. So hopefully this helps somebody. And no, you can't disable auto switch. Sorry. 